show is a fraction in simplest form, uh, what we want to do is we want to get rid of the decimals first. Uh, let me get my pencil out. Um, I'm going to multiply both of them by 10. And you ha What you do to one part of the ratio, you have to do to the other. So I'm going to multiply them both by 10. And that's going to make 84 to 28. That's the same ratio. The numbers are different, but it expresses the same comparison between the two numbers. Okay. And we have to simplify this ratio, which means it's just like a fraction. You can divide the left and the right both by the same number. So if they're even, I always say, hey, just start with that. Divide them both by 2. So 84 divided by 2 with our calculator gives us 42. 28 divided by 2 gives us 14. And then dividing by 2 again, they're both even. So it's going to give me, let's see. Oh, uh, man, you think I know that. It's 21 and 7. And now both these numbers are divisible by 7. 21 is divisible by 7, and 7 is divisible by 7. So final answer here is 3 to 1. So this ratio 8.4 to 2.8, that's the same thing as the ratio 3 to 1. Okay. First, get rid of the decimals. Multiply both sides by 10, and you have to multiply by the same number. You can multiply by 100 if there's two decimals there. Okay. But get rid of the decimal by multiplying both sides by 10, and then simplify like you would a fraction. Divide them both by 2. Divide both by 2, and then this one we saw, we can divide both of them by 7.